hello dear students last class we have discussed about the anatomy of dicotstem right today we will be discussing about the anatomy or the internal structure of dicot root okay what all uh, tissues are there in the you know uh, root that is what we are going to see today so let us start with the anatomy of dicot root okay so let us see first the structure of root you know what is actually root root system we have discussed that is the the portion of the plant below the level of the soil below the level, level of the soil those parts are called as root system so today we are going to discuss about the detailed structure of a root okay so when we take the cross section when we took, take the cross section of the root what all structure you can see here these are the structure which we are going to discuss today okay so uh, you know when we take the cross section you know that is the structure there are different type of tissues are arranged okay so each and every tissues we will be discussing about the root okay so let us go to the each and every tissues okay look at here yes this is the structure of root suppose if you take the uh, root structure you know the detailed structure or if you take the cross section of that a small cross section of this part if you take what structure we are going to get yes which is totally divided into three different part the anatomy of a root we can study in a three different you know uh, headings uh, first one is called as epidermis now where is epidermis which is the outer layer this is what is called as epidermis this is what is called epidermis okay so we have to discuss about the epidermis okay and the second part which comes cortex now where is the cortex you can see cortex which you can see here just inner to that can you see just inner to the epidermis this region yes this is the region where we call cortex correct so until this much region that is the cortical region okay next what is that steel the steel which is which comes in the inner part so we are going to discuss each and every uh, structure of this okay that is the first one which we are going to discuss now that is epidermis epidermis is the first tissue we are going to discuss that is the single layer of outermost you can see here it is the single layer and that is the outermost one can you see here yes outermost that means it is actually made up of like this you know single layer of cell and which is the outermost which is the outermost layer you can see that is the outer one okay now now here let us see here in this case yes look at here now some of the cells you can see here this is the epidermis right this is the epidermis now some of the epidermal cell you know they give out some small hair like structure which is a unicellular hair like structures which is called as root hair so which is the root hair this is the root hair part so some of the cells not all the cells you can see here root hair is just like this okay some of the cell which gives like small hair like structures this hair like structures are called as root hair hope it's clear so that is the epidermis gives out unicellular unicellular root hairs unicellular root hair okay let us go to the next part called cortex now where is the cortex cortex is the you can see here just below the epidermis whatever structures we can see that is what is called as cortex so it is it consists of a several layers of thin walled parenchyma cell you can see here there are lot of there are lot of thin walled parenchyma cell 
with intercellular spaces. What is intercellular space? Intercellular space means the space between the cells you can see here. Now, if cells are like that, cortical, cortex cells are like that, suppose. The cortex cells are like that. You can see there are a lot of space in between. These spaces are called intercellular spaces. So, you can see there are a lot of intercellular spaces here. Now, let us see what is the next structure we can see there. Yes, that is the innermost layer of the cortex. Innermost layer of the cortex. That means here, because cortex we have discussed up to this much, right? The innermost layer of the cortex. That means we are talking about this. And that is called endodermis. Very, very important layer. That is the innermost layer of the cortex. And it is actually barrel shaped cells. The endodermis is a, endodermis have a barrel shaped cells. This, these are the structure of endodermis you can see. The cells which is arranged like this. Barrel shaped endodermis. That is the endodermis which is barrel shaped. And one of the important thing is that this endodermis has Casparian thickening. What is Casparian thickening? It is just a waxy layer. It is just a waxy layer. It is, you can see like this, waxy layer, like over that. Ah, it just like this. You can see over that there is a waxy layer is deposited. That waxy layer is called as Casparian thickening. What is it called as? Casparian thickening. Okay, so now, which what is the use of that? This waxy layer actually impermeable to water. Impermeable to water means what? They don't allow water to pass. They don't allow allow water to pass. So you will be thinking like water will be entering through this root here. Okay, from there it goes to epidermis. Yes, from the epidermis it goes to you know the cortex region. From the cortex. You know, they will be, they may not be, because here they have uh, Casparian thickening. Water may not be able to pass. But look at there, some of the cell, some of the our uh, endodermal cells will not be having the Casparian thickening. Here you can see, this is, this cell does not have any Casparian thickening, which will allow the water to pass, which will allow the water to pass inside. Those cells are called Passage cell. Those cells are called as passage cells. So, what is passage cell? They will allow. It's a cell. So, it's a cell of endodermis which will allow the movement of water inside. So, hope it's clear. What is endodermis? What is passage cell? Okay. So, let us discuss the next part. Yes. Next, we are going to discuss. The steel, which is the innermost part of that, you know, dicot root. What is the steel consist of? Steel consist of a pericycle. Yes, vascular bundle. VBS means vascular bundle and pith. Okay, each one we will be discussing about. Okay, let us see. Now, this is the entire structure of a steel. Okay. Now, just inner to that, what all tissues are there, which start from here, okay? That all tissues, what is inside, that is what is steel. That is what is called steel. Okay, let us see one by one now. Okay, first one we will discuss, yes, you can see. Next to endodermis lies a few layers of thick wall parenchyma cells called pericycle. Look at here. So, first one we are going to discuss about this. Where is pericycle? Just inner to endodermis. This is the endodermis as we know. This is the endodermis, right? This is the endodermis. So, the pericycle we are going to see. Pericycle as we have seen, just inner to the endodermis, there are few layers of pericycle. Now, what is the use of the pericycle? Actually, pericycle you know, helps in the secondary growth. You know, sometimes they produce not all the root, some root they produce us the uh, cambium and um, which helps for the secondary growth okay okay now let us see there are 
2 to 4 xylem and phloem. This xylem and phloem, we call it as vascular bundles. What we call it? It's a vascular bundle. Xylem and phloem, uh, we will call it as vascular bundle. Now, this xylem, you can see here, the xylem is, look at here. There are four xylem, you can see. There are four xylem, same way, and it, it has to be, you know, in the uh, dicot root, it has to be two to four, okay? Maximum, not, it will not be more than six, you know, it will be always two to four, okay? You can see here, uh, four xylem, and also, there are phloem, which is, you can see here, this is the phloem, even that is uh, four in number here, okay? There are four phloem, okay? Now, another thing, it's very important here, about, you can see, as we have discussed, these vascular bundles are radial. What is mean by radial? Radial mean, look at here. When we take the uh, radius of this, when we take the radius of this, you can see here, either, you know, phloem comes. This is the phloem. You can see here, this is the phloem. This is the phloem and this is the xylem. Okay. Now, in this, when we take the radius of this, either it comes xylem. Here it grows xylem now. Now, when it take like this, it grows phloem. That means either phloem or xylem, it grows. You know, it won't come together. So, that is, that arrangement is called as radial. Vascular bundle. Bundles are radial mean, you know, inner radius. Either it's xylem or phloem comes. Okay. Now, then what is the second one? Exarch. Vascular bundles are exact means you can see here where the look at here. This is this part is called protoxylum. This is what is called protoxylum. Yes, this part is called as protoxylum. Okay. Now, this protoxylum it will be you know towards periphery outside. You can see here, this is the protoxylum, which, you know, outside, which faces outside here also. So, if the protoxylum faces outwards, we call exarch. The arrangement is called as exarch. So, in the case of, in the case of our dicot root, you can see our vascular bundles are radial and exarch. We have discussed in the stump, it was a, you know, conjoint, that means xylem and phloem were coming together in the same radius and the xylem was endark there in the stem. Okay. But here it is exar. Hope it's clear. Okay. Next thing we are going to see, there are some parenchymata cell which lies between xylem and phloem. Now, look at here. You can see here in this case. This is the xylem, right? This is the xylem and this is the phloem, right? So, in between the xylem and phloem, that means here, that means here, even here. So, the tissue which, uh, you know, present between this xylem and phloem, which we call it as conjunctive tissue. So, what is conjunctive tissue? The tissue which present between a xylem and phloem comes here. It comes here. So, hope it's clear all of you. Yes. So, the next one, last one we are talking about, that is pith. Okay. What is pith actually? It is a small and not much developed. That means the area where you can see here. Yes. This is what is called pith. The central region. It is a parenchymata cell. Okay. And it is very small in the dicot root and it is not much developed it is not much developed this is the region of pith this is the region of pith okay so this is the entire structure what we have studied now okay so let us see one by one let us see one by one what is the first one here we have discussed the epidermis yes this is the epidermis this epidermis, listen carefully, the epidermis in the root, it's also called as epibloma. Okay, in the stem it is, we have called it as epidermis. In the root, this is also called as epibloma. 
and as we have discussed some of the epidermis they develop root hairs they develop root hairs okay now this much as we have discussed just below the epidermis there are cortex there are cortex cell okay the number of parenchyma cell with intracellular spaces and inner cells of that cortex that we call it as endodermis this is the endodermis okay then two to three layer of you know just below the endodermis there are pericycle this is what is called as pericycle layer okay then as we have discussed about our xylem and phloem that means vascular bundle there are four xylem same way there are four phloem see the four xylem and four phloem okay and the arrangement of xylem we have already discussed the vascular bundles that is you know radial and exar right and now in between the xylem and phloem we have discussed about the conjunctive tissue and this is the conjunctive tissue between the the tissue which present between xylem and phloem and finally finally we have discussed the pith this is the pith region okay where it's a, it is not much developed which is not much developed in the dicot root so today we had discussed about the anatomy of dicot root different type of tissues which is present so next class we will be discussing about monocot stuff okay thank you thank you very much